Welcome to the Friday Special How-To Tips and Tricks. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the little bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's Friday Special, KJK asks, Can you refresh a razor without using honing stones. So we're going to do a honeless straight razor refresh tonight. All right. Now, first thing we're going to need is our strop. So I've got my 30 degree strop here, which has leather and fabric. We'll need that. Then we're going to need chrome ox as well. And this is the green Chromox, so this is the one I like. It's equal to like 30,000 grit. All right. And then for our razor tonight, we're going to be using my magnetic silver steel. All right. This is a full hollow. And now KJK also asked about the mineral oil that you'll see in each one of my videos that uh, uh, I actually put on after the shave. I've got mineral oil in here from uh, a bigger bottle. So what I, I do is I actually coat the blade in mineral oil and before I do the any shave videos, I just take a couple of pieces of tissue paper and I just wipe this blade down and get that mineral oil off of there and wipe off down here on the tail and wipe off in here as well. And then what I do is I go ahead and fold that and we put that in here and I do one side, turn it over, do the other side. And now what this mineral oil does, it actually keeps this blade nice and clean and fresh. And with it coated in oil, then it won't rust at all. So now this is my magnetic silver steel that you guys have seen before. But it is kind of a little tuggy. So we're going to go ahead and do a homeless straight razor refresh. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the leather side. We're folding that back. Now, this is the inside of the fabric side. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to be using this uh, chrome ox. And we're just going to rub that right on just like this okay and again it does not have to be super caked on or anything we're just looking to get a pretty good even coat similar to that that'll be fine right there okay and now you see that is got a nice coat as compared to the back side which is clean all right now what i'm going to do is we're going to take the straight razor on the fabric side with the chrome ox and we're going to do like 30 laps on it all right so let's go and they don't have to be fast you just need to do them Okay, there's 30 laps. Now, what we're going to do is 
We're going to clean that off with that tissue paper. We just don't want any of that residue to get on anything uh, that we don't want it on. You know? So now, we're now going to fold this over and I'm going to be using the suede side of the leather. Okay. Now we're going to hit this blade again with 30 laps. There's 30 laps, all right. Now we're going to put that back down. We're going to clean that blade off again, okay. Now at this point, we are switching over to the clean fabric side, all right. And again, 30 laps. go. Now, I'm just noticing that that rivet or screw looks a little loose and sure enough it was. So let's just go ahead and tighten that up. See about the next one. Yeah, that one's a little loose too. Okay, the other one is fine. Alright, so now we've done the clean fabric side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put 60 laps on the uh, smooth leather side, all right? And I'm just going to warm up that leather with my hand. And then that way, we will have a good draw on this razor. All right, here we go. There we go, 60. Now, let's go ahead and I'm going to check and let's see how sharp this really is. All right. So now, what I normally do is the hanging hair test and I will just be trying to pop those hairs. Yeah. Mid hair. There we go. And yeah, all the way up and down the blade, it is nice and sharp. Popping hairs, guys. So that will do it. I'll go ahead and 
and give you a shot of that, even though it's kind of gross, but that way you know it is real. All right, there you go. You can see this razor is shave ready. It's popping hairs halfway up. Hopefully you guys found this helpful, and I really appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Thank you so much. Click right over here for the latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.